I decided to breastfeed my son. I wasn't a first time breastfeeding mom. I have a two and a half year old as well and I nursed her for 12 months. When my son was born, um, prior to that I had taken another breastfeeding class, so it was my second breastfeeding class I had taken. So I was pretty, pretty well versed in how to breastfeed. One of the nurses had come in with my son. She had done some kind of test and brought him back to me and she said, your son is always gonna want to be held. And I didn't know what that meant at the time, but that night, the second night in the hospital, my son screamed the entire night. Um, he screamed ever since. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know at that time what it had meant, but um, that nurse, she was right on. Um, I held my son every night for 12 months until we found Dr. Milton. I would nurse him. Um, he would pop off after a five minute nursing session. And then um, I would have these, when he would try to relatch, I would have these painful, forceful letdowns of my milk and it would make him cough, choke and gag. I would constantly have clogged ducts. I would, um, I would just constantly have these painful letdowns at every feed and, and it made it very difficult. My son suffered from reflux. He suffered from um, inability to sleep. He didn't take naps um, day, night. Um, he would sleep for about 15 minutes at a time at, during the day and he would sleep uh, at most two hours at night without wanting to wake and, and eat for about five minutes. And then again, he'd cough, choke, gag, and then again, we would start the whole process. Um, my son would cry every car ride, scream the entire time. If it was a five minute car ride to a 25 minute to 45 minute car ride, he would scream the entire time. His cry was a blood curdling pain cry. It was something that you knew it, he hurt. We tried Similac Sensitive, Similac Complete, we tried Alimentum, we tried Elicare, Neocate, goat's milk, uh, we tried everything. During this whole time of trying all these formulas, we did sleep doctors, chiropractic care, um, I saw neurology, endocrinology, oh goodness, um, a dietitian, um, ENT about three times. Six month appointment I brought up does my son have tongue tie? I went in the office and I said, at one of his well visits, are you sure my son's not tongue tied? I said, six months, it said your child should stick their tongue out. And I would stick my tongue out at him and he wouldn't stick it back out at me. And that was the only milestone I ever really noticed my son didn't hit. And so I brought that up at the six month well visit. Shouldn't he be sticking his tongue out? And he checked it and he said, no, your son's not tongue tied, he's fine. Brought it up again at the nine month appointment, I said, um, I actually uh, went into his well visit in tears that day and I said, I think we've missed something. I said, no matter how many tests we've done, we've done x-rays, we've done ultrasounds, we've done upper GI, we've done barium swallow tests with everything. We're not finding anything. Are you sure my son is not tongue tied? And he said, uh, he's not tongue tied. So I came in and I had to fill out this evaluation form um, and I checked every box. Every symptom for tongue tie, I was like, check, check, check. And I just wrote all over the page. I mean, it was just, it was the first time I had gone to a doctor that we seemed to just match up. He was very good about setting proper expectations with us. He said, you may have 20% of a difference in your child. He said, you literally may only have 20%. He said, you have so much learned behavior at this point with your son. The procedure, no joke, was about four minutes long. And um, my son took a nap that day. <laughs> and he naps every day. <laughs> um, he napped twice today. He sleeps at night. Um, he sleeps through the night. <laughs> and I feel like I'm getting to know my son all over again. He's just happy. He plays. He doesn't scream all the time. I would say, and my husband and I talked about this, what we've truly seen, I would say we have 80% change. It's just what he did for our family, to just give us peace. It wasn't so much that my son cried all the time, it was that it was so hard to handle what was causing my son to cry all the time and what was causing him so much pain. So Dr. Milton being the person he was and the doctor, the, the caring doctor that he is, um, the fact that he's trying to educate other doctors I think is so fantastic because other pediatricians need to be educated so other families don't go through what we went through. And I would do anything to help other families never go through what we went through because it is so hard to have your son or daughter or any child be in pain 
like he was for so long and have nobody know what you're talking about and people constantly looking at you like you're crazy but you truly know as a mom that there is something wrong. Um, so Dr. Milton was a godsend for us and I'm so appreciative for everything he did for us.